What's going on, everybody? It's your boy back with another reaction video. I'll be reacting to Blair Witch official gameplay reveal trailer. So it's today, I was like, Yeah, I think I'll react to that. Because this is supposed to be a gamer channel, right? <laughs> so I'm actually, I was actually really impressed at the, after I looked at the, the, tra the previous trailer a few times, I was like, You know what? This could be interesting. I, I know that the first movie, yeah, like, when it came out, people were like, oh my god, this is so, that, that's the first movie that I can remember where they actually, in the in the advertisement, they had, like, reactions, the audience reaction to the movie, showing them pissing their pants and all that shit, that's, that's the first one I can remember, anyway, that, that, uh, that they did that with. And then I remember, like later on, after like years later, people, oh that movie isn't good. Oh it sucks. Oh it's, it's it's overrated and all that stuff. Like like a lot of popular movies. Like over time, they did people start saying, oh they were overrated. They weren't actually as good as they were when they first came out. It was just more hype and stuff like that. But I mean, I haven't seen the Blair Witch since. I think when it first came on cable I mean, that was when like, I didn't go to the show to see it. Um, it was when I first came on cable I watched it and I really hated at first the, the found footage type thing because I hated when the camera was moving and shit even though I mean it's supposed to be realistic because someone actually filmed it but I used to hate that oh I hated that so much I don't think I started actually giving it a pass or like actually liking it until um Cloverfield. That's the, I think that's the first one I can remember where the found footage movie that I was like, no, this is pretty good. The, the, the camera shaking and all that stuff. I was like, I was okay with it. But I remember Blair Witch. I hated that when I was a kid. I used to hate widescreen too. So <laughs> until, I, until I grew up. Anyway, let's get into this. Blair Witch trailer. Here. Hey, it's, uh, I, I, I didn't think you'd call. Yeah, well, how's the search going? What's he doing? This is no longer just a missing person case, Jess. Ah. Okay, I'm guessing this is supposed to be like kind of like continuity with the movie. You okay? Uh, I, no. Oh, no, look at the German it's, it's nothing. Boy, seek. Boy, boy. And just talk to me, like please. Kratos over here. You heard the legend, right? Uh, about the witch? Alice, you sure you're doing fine? No, I'm not Jess, doing fine. I swear. Okay, what it was really messed up going on in these Did the last of us people make this? Uh, calm down. What did you see? It's it's hard to explain. Memories? Bad memories. He's in, I'm guessing he's investigating what happened to the from the movie. Just I would have left. I think I I'm starting to lose it. Jess? 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 What the fuck? Kind of sound like a uh, Walking Dead music. That, that, uh, that, uh, the music that started to begin to walk in there, that, 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 that kind of sound like that. This thing, it could be interesting. Like, like I said, I, I think I said it just now. Uh, it reminds me, with the camera anyway, it reminds me of uh, Outlast. Even though you know, Outlast didn't invent that. I mean, it, it's like a found footage video game. And uh, Blair Witch is one of the first found footage I can remember I mean unless it was something like back in like the 70s or some shit I don't remember but, uh, I don't think because only they have do they have I'm not too familiar with all the technological advance we had as far as like film I mean do we have like cameras that you could just record <laughs> I remember having I remember this shit in the 
early 2000s and having a camera, we, it was no Wi-Fi. It, we had to have that bitch plugged up. So, and it was in 2000. <laughs> now, yeah, I was in high school and we didn't have the best equipment, but still. But this looks pretty good. I might, I don't usually play like scary get like, like this. Um, it's not that I don't find them scary. I just like, man, it, it's, the gameplay is very limited because it's all about the scares. So the gameplay is just very straightforward. Kind of like if you think of, uh, why well, it's in my head, but I can't think of the name. The, uh, what was that? The Freddy Fazbear or whatever. The, the Five Nights at Freddy's. Like the gameplay is very simple, very straightforward. I think it, I mean, it's, it's that way by design to be very straightforward, very easy to quickly grasp and play the game. Because it's all because the game is all about the scare, jump scares, the you know the, the, the anticipation stuff like that. So it makes sense, but it's just when I play, I'm like just not. I don't know some games I like to be even though when I play games like I've played games like I'm doing I actually play the Last of Us right now, and I've played games where if I take like more than a day or two off. I've taken like almost a week off of playing Last of Us. Uh, I had to edit the video and I still played it again. Uh, I forget the controls and I don't want to play it again. Because I don't want to re remember, I don't, I don't want to reteach myself the controls. Because like, now I'm in a different, I'm not at the beginning of the game where they're like, oh, it's easy man, because you're learning the controls, so we're not going to just throw everything at you. But now I'm in a place in the game where like, hey, you should know the controls here play the game and now i'm like oh fuck i haven't played the game in like over a week now and i'm like oh, i don't remember the control even though it's easy for me to go back to look at the controls and figure it out again but i've done that with games where i've taken off years playing it or started playing a game over again because i lost i forgot the controls and i was actually close to the ending but i stopped playing it and then started playing it over again because i couldn't remember the control but like I said, these games probably, like, even last one, like, I, I played that, I, played, I think it was a demo or something. Uh, it's very simplistic in the theme and then how the gameplay, the controls, and all that, but it's that way by design. So, which makes sense. You don't want a scary game and then have very complicated controls, you know. You know, you want people to focus on the scares, which I said this game is trying to do. But, uh. I know Alec Wake, Alec Wake, Alan Wake. It had kind of like more complex controls, like like a standard video game, like like standard video game, like game controls, and which I was a more comp compared to like Friday Night Freddy, a complex. But um, it was a very, it was actually a very good game. I mean, I know they were talking about doing Alan Wake two recently. They've been talking about that actually uh, for years, but it just hasn't taken off. But no, it been picking up steam recently about doing Alan Wake 2. And that's just, just an example again where you have complex control and a great narrative and horror elements in it that make it actually scary. Where it's not, one is not really taking away from the other. It's a very delicate balance that you have to do with that. But this game, maybe I'll play it. I don't know. I've been, I was planning on actually getting, uh, what was that, Resident Evil 7? That, that, that Biohazard one, the, the more recent one that came out. I was thinking about getting it. The only thing is, I don't know. It's like, I don't have a problem with the first person game. I used to hate first person games because it was just different. It was different than what I was used to, and I hated it. But it's like why, like like I said, wide screen, like a wide screen movies. I hate it. Even I go to theater and look at wide screen, but on actual television, I hated it. But you know, I this is something I just got over over time because more and more time, more they would use wide screen, more and more and more. I just got over. It. Like, ah, it's just the way it is. So whatever. But the the first person I used to, oh, I used to hate that so much. I didn't really start being okay with first person until I played Dying Light. 
That is one of my favorite games of all time. Like, I've beaten that game. I think I've beaten that game probably more than I've beaten any other game in my life. Like, well... Well, hmm. I mean, I've beaten Super Mario Brothers quite a few times. I don't, I, I, I don't remember how many times I actually beat that game. Like, what was it? Was it I don't think it was Super Mario Bros. Super Mario World, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. I, all those games kind of blend together <laughs> to me. Like, on the NES and Super NES, because they kind of very similar games. As far as, like, the gameplay, anyway, back in the day. Uh, so, some of it is blend together to me and I'm like didn't I beat that I, I, I know I beat it but then how many times did I beat that particular mode this was like, I remember Mario World a lot and I beat I remember beating uh, Mario 64 a few times but I beat Dying Light I played through all the way through I know for a fact four times I know for a fact four times. and and I, I know recently I got halfway through it and I haven't been back because I was, I was thinking about rec recording myself playing which I did actually record myself playing it before but anyway it I means the game looks good we have to wait and see I mean if it's actually good it, it, like it's a very reminiscent of Outlast to me and I mean hey I'm not I have no problem with games going off of the games like kind of Copy and things. I'm like, if that works for your game, I'm like, copy that shit. Don't like people like, well, just do something completely new. And I'm like, fuck that. If it, if this game has done something that your game that you want to do with your game, just copy that shit. Like, I play games that are, that are pretty much ripoffs of God of War, like the old God of War game. But they, but that uh, gaming, like the mechanics of that game, uh, contribute their game in a very good way. Like, so I like, just rip it off. Like, so, so, like as long as you don't get sued, like, if, it's, if it makes your game playable and enjoyable, I don't give a fuck. Like, I mean, I guess I know some people were like, well, I don't want to play it because it didn't do anything new and exciting. So, and it's just a rip-off hook. God of War is just that the actual story arc is different because of different characters and stuff like that. But the gameplay is actually pretty much copying this other game that I like or play it or but I'm like, hey, if it fits your game, I have no problem like copy that shit. I can enjoy your game just as much as I enjoy the other game. Now if the actual story isn't as good, then yeah I'm not gonna enjoy it. Anymore. But yeah, if the story is good and the game is I would think I would be more inclined to like your game because like, oh this is something I actually like to play. It, the the gameplay mechanics are very similar to something that I actually like. And you've copied that. So I like playing this game too. And I like your story. So it's a win-win for me. Like, I don't give a fuck. If you didn't do anything unique or different. <laughs> Especially in the video game world. Like, I don't expect things to change quite as I like. I would say, I would take, I would, I would think it takes probably like 10 years before you see something new come in in a video game world. I mean, things have quickly, you know, rapidly been going faster than they used to. It was like movies like people like, well people say like Avengers Endgame. Oh well, I don't want to see any other superhero movie unless they do something completely new compared to what they did before. But so you can't really build off of a universe anymore or starting something that you that from an existing property. Because now like, well that's something you should have did back in the early two thousand or mid two mid two thousand but because now we're past that because of in-game. So you need to do something completely new. But then if you change the characters too much, we're gonna rebel against that because now you change the source material too much. Right? <laughs> it's gonna be like, like you can't win for losing. Like it's fucking that in here. But it's like, oh we we want Superman, but he's too OP and too overpowered. I don't like he's too good, he too shoot. Why won't you you know try to do something new with him while you do the same old thing over and over? And then you do something like Man of Steel, which I actually like. Right? But if you try something new, where Superman actually has issue problems that he's trying to deal with. People complain about that. Oh, he's 
why is he feeling us? Oh, why does he have issue? You know, why did, like he's supposed to be just perfect right out the gate? I thought this was supposed to be like Christopher Reeve, Superman. Uh, did I say Reeves or Reeve? Christopher Reeve, Superman. I don't know if I said Reeves. Something I just say that. Where he just was, he just became Superman with no explanation. He was he had this teenager, skipped a bunch of years, and then he's just Superman. And then everybody loves him. Like, and, uh, and I know they do that. Cause I, I, I rebel against that too. And I said, well, you don't need to have super like superheroes where they're in a realistic world. I know that works for Marvel. And they depower some people to make it fit that world as well. But every superhero doesn't need to be where this hero is. is what if we put Superman in the real world, you know, type thing? And I think that's what Zack Snyder was trying to do. And I actually, like I said, I like Man of Steel. But it's, that'd be like this. Like they, they're trying to put Blair Witch in the real world. Even though it's, it, it's taking place in the real world. But it seems like when they go in those woods, all bets off. It's just magic or whatever now. Whatever they want it to be. And this is what we're left with. Like this, the, like we don't know this witch's powers. It seems like she has some type of matter warping abilities or time warping abilities that stuff looks like it was broken and it starts going back into place that could be that could not be any of that it could just be uh illusion that she's projecting we don't really know this which is how, but that's the thing with magic you like it, you don't really know Cause it's, it's like magic and time travel you can just throw shit in there and most people don't understand it especially magic and you're just like whatever i don't fucking know and you just accept whatever the writers or whatever tell you they say it's supposed to be. So you like, okay, whatever. Although, it, that's what I said, it seemed like in, in this, he's, it's, it, 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 it's very reminiscent of me. The last was like, I saw a reporter going looking for something that already, like, the, he's, he's going looking for what happened to the, I'm guessing take play kind of like canon with the movies where he's like, oh, I'm going to investigate what happened to the I think teenagers or college kids, I can't remember, but these people who went in the woods and he knew they were investigating the Blair Witch type uh, thing. And so he's, I'm going to investigate it. And, he, and, and, and it's, that's very reminiscent of like The Last of Us, where there was that reporter going there. Uh, was it, he was investigating, was it Mount Massive Asylum or some shit? I can't like I said, I only played the demo. I didn't play that whole game. And um, and he like he's a reporter going in, and he starts figuring out all this weird shit going on in there. And he gets kind of wrapped into this world of just craziness. And at first you think, oh, it's you know just crazy people that you know these people experiment over these people are just crazy. But oh no, there's an actual supernatural element to this shit <laughs> that's going on. But uh, but yeah, this little game was good. I, mean, I got off on a rant, sorry. But uh, game was good. Maybe I'll try it out. Um, since I don't play games like this normally, because I, I I usually like when I purchase sixty dollar games, I usually like a little bit more gameplay than just scares or uh, you know like I'm trying to think of some other. I know the last one gets a lot of crap because like the gameplay mechanics aren't really that complex, but I would say the 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 story is so complex and over a, a nice chunk of time that it's okay, you know. But like I would never play six hours for like uh, um, Five Nights at Freddy's or shit like that, you know. So, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my reaction, everyone. If you did. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.